if I'm the only person out here who tends to see these chorus day in, day out, when you just wake up, trust me, you won't miss out a single thing that the haters or those who are so much delusional or so much obsessed with the Duchess of Sussex don't forget even a single day to post something negative or something that we know very well it is not possible. They don't. They rather just spare their whole humble time just to be able to create something, to be able to just get clicks, just to be able for them to just earn a living out of it. And I've always stated this, and I remember this isn't the first time. You can also make money from spreading positivity about somebody else. You just don't have to hate on somebody for you to make a living, for you to just be able to earn money so as to settle your bills. Things don't work that way. But for the UK press, the haters, the derangers, the royal commentators, the royal insiders, and all those who are always on the front line to hate on Duchess Megan, don't see that. Still continue with the hateful smear campaign. And uh, today I came across an article. It has a title and these were words are stated by the non Andrew Martin. Duchess Megan doesn't want to cut the for princess cat i was like you know what this is just nonsense because it is nonsense first of all we're not forgetting that the duchess of sussex she is an american and uh, it's also good they didn't even complete her citizenship in uh, britain she only even if she's there she's only allowed to cut it for somebody who is a queen we can say that possibly if kate would become the queen then in case they get to meet, that's the point where Duchess Megan could cut it. But at the moment, that something is not going to happen. She is just a princess like Duchess Megan. And we're not forgetting that Duchess Megan is the true queen. I doubt Duchess Megan could even make such a mistake. And I bet they should have read at the label way back during the coronation. By her not attending, I bet they would have read a lot out of it. But it's like, no, they are not good at doing that. Duchess Megan has no business in the UK. He has no one there that will be taking her there to just go show love concert. No. He has no business with any UK press, any British royal family. They took away the titles. They took away their cottage. Frogmo Cottage. They took away the security. But here they are still being able to manage all that without the so-called things that the British royal family think that they are essential for any royal family member. Not knowing that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have proven it to them that that's not the only thing that we look up to. Just allow me to take you through a short article and it goes ahead and states. Last time the Duchess of Sussex and Princess Wells were in the same general area was one year ago during the 10th day hostage situation around queen elizabeth's funeral the windsor were imposed themselves on harry and megan and they wanted the world to see them treat harry and megan so bad at various points during the funeral events megan genuinely looked frightened and traumatized especially on that walk about with william and cat I'm so pleased that Meghan has completely avoided the UK for almost a full year now. And I hope that she manages to ignore and avoid her husband's family for as long as possible. Instead of forcing on what Meghan has said on the record about the awful people did to her. Andrew Martin is now saying that Meghan has been avoiding the UK because she doesn't want to cut seat Kate. Such a delusional human being, I can say. Just allow me call him so much delusional. There's no way you can bring out such a thing. But let me just assume it's for the sake of clicks. Because this is one thing that is so obvious. It's not possible. Just looking at Duchess Megan has been avoiding even stepping her foot back in the UK. That, that should be a, an alarm. That should have clicked in their heads. But they just look as if they don't even understand. I don't know what exactly they wish or want it to be done so as to understand that. Duchess Megan is not one of their own. They told her that she should go back where she belonged. And that's what she did. 
but they were so so much embarrassed after 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 them telling her to leave hoping that she would leave all by herself but not knowing that the duke of sussex is one gentleman one very very supportive husband and made the biggest biggest right decision by deciding to move out with his wife that was one amongst the embarrassing experiences for them who thought that they will remain back with their queen they will remain back with their king that is prince harry and that duchess megan the royal queen will live all by herself I bet they should have learned up to now if they haven't i don't know what exactly are some of the expectations over the same even martin shares the collective delusional projection of uh, the british media because titles cutting buttons royal styles and royal patronages are so important to william and cat that's so true i totally agree i've only said one thing that william and cat are so much focused on at the moment is just they're just waiting to be the one seated on those thrones they even they, they've even forgotten that they have a marriage to take care of they have a relationship to build that is so much currently on the rock their focus is way just on just being there and that's where they feel there are a lot of things to focus on rather than just looking at that but they think that having the titles having the patronage deals having all that is enough for them i hope they realize it before it is even too late they assume it must be eating up harry and megan that they are lower than uh, william and kate unfortunately no it's not they better continue assuming it from their end but that's not the case harry and megan don't even care they are at peace that's one amongst the most important things for them just living a happy life being able to do what they feel or what they want one amongst the things they are so much focused on we pity them and we pity them so much because imagine you're just there wanting to to be the na yes you know very well that you are the awaiting king and queen but you don't even know how things work you don't even know what is expected of you as a person why have the ambition then leave it to those who understand but i've always said and let me repeat it here is that the monarchy is fading sooner or later than we expect we won't have the so-called king and queen eh, that they are at the moment trust me you never mind eh, that megan and harry have simply left all that behind and they are living their best california lives now megan was at beyonce's uh, sat the other day and they were so much dancing so well together with her lovely husband not forgetting harry was super excited to see lionel messi and these people said the reason they won't come back is because megan would have to cut see to karen who smeared megan with a racist lie and i bet if they have even sat down and thought of going back there they will just be there for things or matters that do concern them we expecting to see the duke of sussex attending the well child award this particular month those are some of the things that we should only expect to see harry and megan attend back in the uk but them going back to the royal family i doubt if that's one thing that is ever ever going to happen megan's american she doesn't have to cut it to anyone list of all those who spread lies about her that is so right and i totally agree with it one thing that i personally can say is that they are so much delusional and they don't know what they're saying one thing i just hope is that duchess megan will never ever step her foot back there so as all we want to see is just her peace her living her best life and doing what she feels she's comfortable with and what she feels is right trust me you those are some of the things that only we will want to see and as for the rest of the british royal family i bet it's a high time they just move on and forget if duchess megan even existed or even was there back in their palace those are some of the things that we would love to hear or see i don't know what you think about the same kindly just leave your comments and thoughts down below and that was our today's podcast thank you so much for tuning in and see you guys in our next podcast bye